Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about properties of exponents, and we're going to simplify this expression. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. 2x to the 4th, y negative 4th power, z to the negative 3rd power, all over 3x squared, y to the negative 3rd power, z to the 4th power. We first look at our coefficients, 2 and 3. Nothing to simplify there, so I'm just going to leave it like this, 2 thirds. Let's keep going. x to the 4th divided by x squared, okay, well that, that, we subtract the exponents, 4 minus 2 is just 2, and so we have an x squared here. Now the y's, this is the tricky part. y to the negative 4th divided by y to the negative 3rd. Negative 4 minus a negative 3rd, we subtract them, is like adding a positive third, three, right? So negative four plus three is a negative one. That means the y is gonna be in the denominator, negative one right there. Now let's deal with the z's. z to the negative third divided by z to the fourth power. So we have negative third minus four, that's for the z's. Negative three minus four is negative seven. That means we have it in the denominator. Oops, and this y is a positive because it's in the denominator. So we have z to the positive 7th in the denominator here. It would be a negative 7th in the numerator. So let's rewrite this now without the 1 there. 2x squared over 3yz to the 7th power. And after all that, we have our final answer, 2x squared over 3yz to the 7th power. I hope this video was informative. If so, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more math videos for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.